We're going to begin with the new video of Ryan Lochte and the other American swimmers at a gas station in Brazil. The swimmers said they were robbed at gunpoint, but this afternoon police said they were not victims. We got ABC's Adrian Banker, who's been following the new developments and joining us now with the very latest. Adrian. Good afternoon to you, David and Lauren. Yes, it's a global play by play, far more dramatic than the Olympic Games for so many people. And still questions remain as to exactly what happened as this night out on the town in Rio became an international incident. Claims made by members of Team USA Swimming that they were robbed at gunpoint outside the Olympic Village on Sunday have crumbled. Police saying there was no robbery. Federal Brazilian police sources saying at least one of the four Olympic swimmers, including Ryan Lochte, are seen breaking down a bathroom door at a gas station, then getting into a fight with a security guard. Rewind to last week and the controversial interview Lochte first gave to NBC News. The guy pulled out his gun, he cocked it, put it to my forehead, he said, get down, and I was like, I put my hands up, I was like, whatever. Lochte now saying the gun was only pointed in his direction. The 12-time Olympic medalist is back in the U.S. His teammates, James Fegan, Jack Conger, and Gunnar Bentz all remain in Brazil, two of them seen here in a Rio police station after being pulled from a flight bound for Houston. And they came by and said, sir, you need to debark the plane, and there was a security person, they took him off the plane. Brazilian investigators looking into whether false statements were given to police, members of the IOC conducting their own investigation and talking about forgiveness. Let's give these kids a break, you know, they, they, you know, sometimes you take actions that you later regret. Rio's chief of police saying they should apologize, telling Brazilian TV network Globo the only truth is that they said they were drunk. And we do know now that false statements were made to police as to the fact that there was no robbery. We do also know that a federal police source has told ABC News that at least two of the swimmers, if they continue to cooperate with authorities, could be given back their passports and flown back home to the U.S., possibly as early as tonight. It's quite a story. David, back to you.